everybody. My name is Melissa. I'm doing the Dewey 24 hour readathon with Angela. But basically, it's this readathon that a blogger started a long time ago and then she died. So they're continuing on the readathon every year as kind of like a memorial for her. So I thought this would be so much fun to participate in. So then Angela and I were talking on Twitter and we were like, well, we're gonna need lots of caffeine and lots of sugar because we need to stay up 24 hours. Just joking around, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make book-inspired cupcakes. And then I kind of like thought about it and I was like, I do want to have like snacks and things to keep me um, going. So I was like, why not make snacks that go with the book that I'm gonna read? And I made up this rule for myself that I can only eat the snack that corresponds with that book. So I think that that'll be good motivation because if I'm like, I really, really want that last snack that I made, then I gotta get through, through the first two books. So the first book I'm going to read is Asylum. My motivation for reading this one first is that, first of all, it'll be at eight o'clock in the morning. So if it really does scare me, then um, I won't have to read it right before I go to sleep. And then it's also good because if it does scare me, then it'll keep me awake at night long enough to finish my other two books. So it's like a win-win situation there. So let's start off with our first snack. Here is how you make a ghost banana snack. <laughs> what I usually do is I just peel the banana and I've got my cute little cutting board here. I'm gonna just cut some chunks of banana. Um, I'd say like an inch or two, about that big. And then you're just gonna dip the bananas into the yogurt until they're coated. So just like that. Just so they're coated and then put them back in your container. And then do that for all of these. So now that I've covered all of my um, bananas with yogurt, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the M&Ms for the eyes. Here, I'll do a few over here. I mean, this is stretching it, but you know, we're gonna say that these look like ghosts because I couldn't think of anything else to go with Asylum. I was like, maybe I'll do cupcakes that are like that greenish brown color that the cover is, but who wants to eat a cupcake that's like that color? So, so this is what they'll look like at the end. It's cute, right? Done, I'm gonna pop them into the freezer and I'll show you later what they look like when they come out all done. Isn't that really easy? All you had to do was kind of just like dunk it in the yogurt, freeze it, and it's good to go. Um, so that was probably the easiest of the recipes that I'll be showing you. The next book that I plan to read is Goodbye Rebel Blue. This one I've been really excited to read. The first few pages were really funny that when I started it. So I thought it would be good because after Asylum I might need something to like lift my spirits up a little bit. No pun intended. When I thought about this book I was like, you know, the only thing I can really think to do is because it has the word blue in it, it has lots of blue and white on the cover. So I'm doing my Muddy Buddy snack mix that has the color blue incorporated in it. So here's how you do that. So I have here rice squares. There, It's a rice cereal and all the there's not bad stuff in it, it's just basically rice, pure rice squares. Then we got white chocolate chips. First, I'm gonna microwave this bowl of chocolate chips. Now there's a certain way to microwave chocolate chips. You put the in um, like a glass bowl and microwave it for 30 seconds on power five or whatever your half power is setting. Um, and then you stir it and then you do it again for another 30 seconds until it's melted. Because if you do it for a full minute, and if you do it on a high power, then it will get really like, um, almost like solid. It, it, it's really weird. Chocolate's weird when you melt it. So follow those instructions and it should be fine. Okay, so it all came out all nice and look how smooth and nice it looks. So we are going to add some blue food, blah, blue food coloring. I'm just gonna put like two drops just cause I don't want it to be like craziness going on here. in a second. Probably should have thought about that before I, you know, stuck my hands in there. Do this. <laughs> Just kidding. Crap. I opened up my powdered sugar with my food scissor. I was just thinking about this. Does anyone else out there have a, a pair of scissors that's just for food, like cutting food packages open? Because I was thinking about that. I was like, I think my family is just a little strange and we're all just homophobes. So let me know if you do that because I think that's kind of funny. All right, so you're just gonna pour the powdered sugar in there. So this is what we have so far. 
and some blue Muddy Buddies. Okay, so now I'm going to add in some blue M&Ms. Now, funny story about this, I went to ShopRite and I was trying to find uh, like those York Peppermint M&Ms because they're blue and white, which would be perfect for this. The funny thing is, they don't have them there. Um, I had seen them at Target and I didn't pick them up. So I had a bag of M&Ms, um, so I just went foraging for the blue ones and this is all that came up. If you were wondering how many of each color are in there, apparently not that much. So just pour it in and mix it up. I'm going to also add in some marshmallows. And that didn't happen. <laughs> And in the end, this is what you get. It's just, we got some different shades of blue going on. If I hadn't been able to find those um, those other M&Ms, it probably would look better, but this is gonna be yummy and I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> that was a very interesting process there. I, I just had blue all over my hands. All right, so this next one is the grand finale, if you will. Um, I've been wanting to read this book, The Girl of Fire and Thorns, for a very long time, and I bought it and then it sat on my shelf and Melina kind of, you know, she was like, you gotta read it soon, because I said I wanted um, something funny and romantic, and she told me to pick this one up. This cover, and you're like, what kind of snack could you make with this, right? Well, that's what I thought. But then I saw the blue diamond, and I saw like all these like vines and like these trees coming up, so naturally I thought cupcakes. I'm gonna be doing gluten-free cupcakes for this one. It may look stupid, and it may look weird, but it's gonna taste delicious. I haven't ever used it yet. It's called gluten-free all-purpose baking flour. So we're gonna see how this is. And I found a recipe on Pinterest that looks good. However, the only problem is they don't tell you like in any instructions. It's just a bunch of ingredients. And um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. So these could turn out horrible or they could turn out fantastic. And I'm hoping it's the latter. First, what we're gonna do is, what it will, first, very first thing, is you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That's just usually what I do for cupcakes anyway, so even though they didn't tell me what temperature to use, I'm just gonna say 350. or just use um, a wooden spoon. I'm gonna use a power beater because it has the oil in it, so I feel like you need that for it. Um, but I'm obviously doing this at my kitchen table because I have to do this on my laptop because I don't have a camera yet, but um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go beat this up and then we'll see what happens. Like I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Um, again, the recipe didn't have like how long to bake them for, so I'm kind of just gonna eyeball it. Most of the time, cupcakes are like what 20, 25 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna put them in for 10 and then check them, just because they're gluten free. So I don't know if that like affects it. I'm just gonna kind of clean them up a little bit so they don't burn, and we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Okay, so they just came out of the oven. They look like this. Um, it took about 20 minutes. I checked it at 10 and they were like soup and then I checked them again at 20 minutes and they were very well done. Hey guys, new location. So I ran out of time so I just did a quick um, one cupcake for you. I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> this is um, white chocolate that I put some um, food coloring in and then froze it. I'm going to show you everything all together. So I have Asylum and the um, ghost 
bananas. And then we have Goodbye Rebel Blue and the Chex Mix Muddy Buddies. And the Girl of Fire and Thorns with the Girl of Fire and Thorns Cupcake. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and let us know if you're participating and what you plan on reading for the readathon. Also, I'll leave a link below for the um, readathon if you want to read more about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.